Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with yours truly, Lord of the Mad. Hi Lord of Flows, it's Harbinger, it's level 22, Boxes Madman, Q to Swacky 2013, and all around neutral guy. Hello scientists, what you doing? Oh, it's you Garza, you're not a scientist, you're just here for the heavy stuff. For the metal, probably. Oh, bone saws and... Oh, I'm actually allowed to take the scalpels and forceps and bone saws. I suppose they trust my skill with them, because I am... technically also a doctor? Just like my old pa, a doctor scientist. What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake! Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine. But I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. Dr. Lee, the new solutions will be ready in a few hours. Perfect, I'll be ready for them. What do you want? You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? Uh, that, that that depends what exactly are we talking about here. To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. A uh, missing property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Uh, sounds like slavery to me. You sure they don't wander off on purpose? Nonsense! This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. <laughs> I kinda like this one. Tell me, Simmer, is your wallet as big as your mouth? How quaint. Of course you'll be rewarded. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think. You'll be the envy of all your friends. Ah, sure. If I see the android, I'll let you know. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Hmm. Okay, so I need to know more about what I'm dealing with. What is an android exactly? Forget everything you know about robots. Those buckets are mere children's toys compared to the real thing. Androids have fake skin and blood and are programmed to simulate human behavior, like breathing. They can even eat and digest food realistically. So any suggestions for finding this android? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruction and possibly even a mind wipe. Search the offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. 
Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. If this android wandered off, why would he want a new mind and face? Maybe. Maybe he didn't exactly wander off. Maybe he fled. Escaped captivity, as it were, if he began to misinterpret his situation. It's possible my android sought to forget his previous life. Wipe away all memory, all guilt. Trick himself into believing he really is human. So no, he may not be just an ordinary robot, but he's certainly not human. No matter how badly he wishes it so. I made him. I want him. End of story. Hmm. Why would an android feel guilt? Come on, Simmer. What are you telling me? By God, you're as annoying as you are clever. Very well. I'll tell you what you want to know, if it helps you locate my property. The duty of this particular unit was the hunting and capturing of other escaped androids. Yes, others have escaped. It's one of the side effects of having such an advanced AI. Machines start to think for themselves, fool themselves into believing they have rights. And so... This particular android may have believed he'd done something wrong, immoral, and wanted to forget those deeds. Satisfied now? It explains. Okay, so if others have escaped, why are you coming after this one? This particular android, designation A321, is different. Special. The most advanced synthetic humanoid I've ever developed. The others, like my escort Armitage there, are all older models, easily replicated. Ah, but A321? It will take years to recreate him. So you see, this android must be located at all costs. The others are all acceptable losses, but A321? He is irreplaceable. So tell me about the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth itself is nothing but a war-ravaged quagmire of violence and despair. Inside the sealed environment of the Institute, however. But the Institute's affairs are none of your concern. Your undeveloped mind couldn't even begin to comprehend what we've accomplished. Oh, come on, I have an intelligence score of 10. Uh, do you know the history behind Red City? Looks to me like a giant boat ran aground and a bunch of savages moved in. History lesson over. Thank you, that will be of great help. I have to go now. Of course you do. Yeah, Armitage, tell me. Lay a hand on Dr. Zimmer and I'll snap your neck like a chicken bone. Oh, his yes. eyes look kind of classy. Hi. Look, this is a restricted oh, area. Stars. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? Uh, wait, how do you know who I am? Have you met? You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now I run the science lab here in Rivet City. It was all I had left. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. We had no choice but to do the same. Project Purity, that is, right? Mm. Uh, can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died, and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? What was my father like back then? James? He was very driven. Determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. 
but it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Yes, Project Purity, I was to the site. Um, I never knew my mother, but can you tell me about her? Yes, your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Uh, why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged derelict equipment. We did everything we could. I understand. I'm sure you did everything you could. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. Huck. Uh, let's talk about something else. Okay. Uh... Tell me about this project you worked with on worked on with my father. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? Uh, what was the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. Why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down. We understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine, but any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. Uh, why did you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. Well, sorry. It wasn't just you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. Yeah, let's talk about something else. Okay. Um... What do you know about the city's history? I could tell you all about the science lab. But even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. Okay. How old is this settlement then? Uh, okay, let's move on to the important things. You. What? Well, I... I'm not sure what there is to tell. Your father and I... We worked together for a long time. I, I think we were really on to something. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. No, oh, okay. I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Uh, <laughs> I left the vault to look for him. Did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. I'm sorry. Could you please tell me where he's gone? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to tell you. I've been to Project Purity. He wasn't there. Well, I know he was going there. Perhaps there's some indication of what he was up to. Did you find any notes? James was always taking notes. Recordings, holotapes, that sort of thing. Go back and search for something like that, if you're so determined. Mm hmm. Can you tell me more about my parents? What do you want to know? No, nothing else. Okay. There we go. Now that's grayed out. Well... Dark orange, dark, dark amber out. What is this lab? Uh, what are you doing here? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Uh, what do you know about Simmer? Oh, that man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does he? 
I've already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. If I find him, he no longer will be. What kind of place is this Rivet City? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society to make the world livable again. Nice. Bye. Good luck finding your father. And Android. Hey. Hi. I'm Janice Kaplinski, chief botanist. What do you need? Mm, know anything about the rest of this history? If it hasn't got to do with the science quarters, I'm probably not the one to ask. And Dr. Lee's so busy, you really shouldn't disturb her work. I want to know about Simmer. Other than him being an egotistical, arrogant, condescending pain in the ass, nothing. He's from the Commonwealth. He's come looking for some special robot. I must admit I'm rather curious, but I have other work to do. Understandable. Uh, I'm looking for my father. Have you seen him? I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. I did. Okay, farewell. So long. I'll continue this uh, Inquisition next episode, so... Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Next time on Fallout Frame. There was no answers at the bottom of any of the bottles I saw.